it's Lexi and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a thrift haul for you from an actual thrift with me which I did um, yesterday. Uh, so if I'll put it in the cards right here so you can see when I shopped for these things. Um, I'm going to start out with what I actually showed you in my thrift with me um, because I ended up going to one store and then went to a another store and I didn't film there because I was so like engrossed and I got so much good stuff so um anyway if you're new here hi I'm Lexi I'm an online part-time reseller I sell on Poshmark, eBay, Macari, and Kittizen and basically I go buy things that these people don't want anymore and I sell them to these people for a profit so um without any further ado let's get started so what happened at this thrift store is that the prices looked higher than they had been in the past and so I really wasn't sure about pricing a lot of things didn't have prices on them you know they had like the little barbs and they're like oh it's this much and this much and so I ended up putting back a lot of things because I thought they were more expensive so when I walked up I had one two three four six items and I thought it was going to be about 20 25 dollars depending because there was a couple pieces where I was like oh I don't know how much those are going to be it ended up being 11 I definitely should have purchased more <laughs> But, you know, now I know for the next time I go. So anyway, um, I got all of these six items for $11. So we're going to start with this, which I don't know if I'm going to sell it because I just love it. It is a vintage, probably 70s Hoover Dam kids t-shirt. Um, it's a large 1416 made in the USA. Like that night, look at that. It's just like the perfect vintage. And it's, um, look at that graphic. Oh. Like, I kind of want to keep it for my kid just because I love it so much. But then I'm probably going to resell it because I also like money. And he has a long way to go before he's in that size. But so cute. Um, so then, then I have this vintage New Orleans Saints sweatshirt. Sorry if you can hear that. My little boy is out there watching a show. Um, and this is the 1987 playoffs. There is no size tag. I lied. There was something I looked at that didn't have a size tag. This one does. It says XL. So, very cool. Hope I can get like 30, 35 for this. Especially since it's like dated. I'm really excited about this. Um, it is this really cool. It very much reminds me of like the Coogie style. Is that what it's called? Coogie? This doesn't sound right. <laughs> um, sweater, but it's a cardigan. It's so chunky and amazing. Um, it's Kitty Hawk by Vivian Wang. I didn't see anything about this. Um, it's acrylic and nylon. It's a large. So it has this green, and I thought it was going to be $6, but I think it wasn't. Or maybe this was the only thing that was $6. Everything else was so much cheaper. Because I know one thing to bring up at 6 but like, y'all, this is, it's so amazing. I'm so excited. Okay, and then we'll just stick with the sweater trend. Um, and this one I think they charged me a dollar for. Um, it's Victoria's Secret. And it's a size XL. Um, I picked it up. I didn't know how much it was going to be, but I figured I would wear it if it was too expensive. But it's this um, real chunky and like possibly like cropped. It's like real boxy fit sweater. Oh, I love it. I hope there's no stains on it. I haven't photographed anything, so I haven't been able to, like, you know, really look. Um, there might be little spots right there, but I think you can get that out. <clears throat> okay, and then someone, and honestly right now I'm completely blanking. Um, I think it's Racks to Riches. Anyway, um, Hope over there. I think it was her that said that she had been picking up like clueless items and putting clueless in the title. So this that's not what I thought of when I found this, but then I realized it is kind of like that clueless thing, and then I got another thing because of that trend. But um this is actually Pendleton. Um it is a um Pendleton wool skirt. Come on, there we go. Authentic. McKenzie dress tartan. It's pleated, like knee length midi, I guess. Skirt with this beautiful plaid. 
nice button detail to zip up the side. Um, these were actually doing really well on Poshmark. So, so I think I love things like this and I love when they're they're selling and it's not like you're waiting for a specific buyer like it's on this trend. This I bought because of Clueless. <sighs> Y'all. Y'all. That Cher. Cher would wear this. Or actually, you know who would probably really wear this? Is the red haired chick with like the nose job, you know? I, I love it. Even maybe Ty. I don't know. I love it. It's a vintage brand. It's um Marnie West and it's a junior because it is a size nine. Um, I didn't even look. It's polyester and rayon, so I mean it's not wool, but so cute. It's like an actual wrap skirt too. Like it's not though. It's an actual wrap skirt. I love it. Okay, so those are the things I got with the thrift with me. Then I went to the Goodwill and I was kind of like on the fence about going at all because there was another thrift store I, I should have gone to. But I just had this good feeling about the Goodwill. And thank God again, because I spent a hundred dollars basically after taxes and everything. And I feel like I got some good stuff. Um, good, like nothing damn like I'm just excited. So um we're gonna start with some stuff I got for myself. Just random stuff. Like I got this frame just to show you how I made it $98. So I got this frame, it's in great condition. Um, and I got, oh, I got some softballs too. They're like two bucks for my other side hustle. I got these for myself. Um, there's some Nike joggers, real good condition. I love these things. Um, and the reason I say for myself is because I was supposed to pay up and I was like, I can't resell that. But when I got in the car and I looked at my receipt, and then I started, I got on the phone with my mom and I started talking to her and I was like, oh my goodness, you know what? She didn't charge me any of the pay up tax, like not a one. And I think I have four or five. So I got really lucky or she loves me or something. And then I got myself a soft and sexy tee. I've been wanting one. I finally found one that hopefully will fit. And uh, so yeah, that's what I got for myself. This is what I got to resell. So this is a Matilda Jane, new with tag romper i know it's not the season but it is amazing it's so cute but but in front it's an xl i've actually never and see this one was supposed to be charged up and she didn't i've never found matilda jane before and i found three pieces today um so i i've looked at comps and they're not like spectacular but they're definitely really good bread and butter comps for me anyway um for what i find when i source so i'm excited I got this is my first time finding this too, and I think it might be new without tags, possibly. Um, it's J. Crew suiting. It is factory. It's a size four, I think. And it's just this professional suit dress. And Nicole State talks about J. Crew suiting, saying that they're they sell really good. So I haven't looked at comps, but super cute. Um, so like the Mizilda Jane, this. And this other item were on the new racks. I love shopping the new racks. Um, so this is an UMG. Now I don't pick up everything UMG. I only pick up larger sizes. And um, so this is an XL maxi dress. It is very cute. I love the back. And then this other piece from the new rack is also UMG XL. So I'm sure it's from the same person. And it is just a mini skirt tunic, whatever you want to call it. So cute. Um, if it was summer or spring, I would totally wear this before selling it. Okay, and then this is for the Clueless Vibe. Um, it is a vintage plaid dress in the size 10. It's got this really cool, it's unbuttoned right now, but it's a button side detail. Um... Just a nice sheath plaid dress like for fall oh my goodness I'm so excited about it because I really embracing this clueless trend okay um these were on the go back rack if you haven't watched me before I always tell everyone go check the dressing room rack where people put clothes that they tried on and didn't want because that's where people those are brands and items that people actually want you know 
and that's where you can usually find some good stuff and this is something i found it's um not your daughter's jeans size six i don't pick them all up in fact in one of my thrift with me's actually say i really don't however this is a really good style um i'm not sure if the waist is high it looks like it could be mid or high but they're straight or skinny and they have that nice raw hem they were just in great amazing condition i couldn't say no to them all right we're gonna go to our other two Magilda Jane pieces. Um, they are both, and it's funny because these are both smalls, but the other size extra large. So it's not the same person, but I found them all on the same day. So these are just Matilda Jane tops. I just, I love the fun prints. I love the button details. Like this one, Kim, is a roll tab. And then this one, that's the back. It's really cute. Makes me down the back with floral. And they has the cute button detail. Like, I really love the style. Um, if these were a bigger size, they might have sat in my closet for a little while. Like, my own personal closet because they are super cute. So, for those of you hoping for 25 or 30, like, I'll be very happy with that. This is something else I found on the dressing room rack. It is a black linen skirt. Simple, knee length linen skirt in a great color and great condition okay so these three pieces i'm excited about they two of them were marked up and they didn't charge me the markup fee um but i've never found these with new tag and i've never found this um big of a size before so these are supposed to be eight dollars she just charged me about five i think um so they're torrid new with tag torrid denim they're 28 regular. And these are some dark wash skinny. So, what's also about it is that I got three in the same size. So, I'm really hoping this is the perfect opportunity for someone to make a bundle. So, the other new tag one, which I didn't know was new tag until I went to pay. Um, these are just some, I think, cotton, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, no, they are linen. I thought that I had looked and they actually weren't linen. So there's some linen pants. They're also new with tag. They're also 28 regulars. With the tie belt. You know, some, like, wide leg trousers. And, like, a great, like, faded army green. Like, not, like, too army green. That great olive color. And then the last pair is not new with tags, but they were in really good condition. Maybe worn a couple times. Um, Torrid denim. 28 regular again. But these are highly distressed. I love, love them. Look at that. Highly distressed. The hems are awesome. And there's some on the pockets. Um, great condition like I there was actually another pair of denim there but it looked to me like there was some stains and I didn't want to deal with it everything I got today so far doesn't have any stains or tears so I didn't want to like add something to my pile of like um you need to get this done so the last thing I bought and these are really cute and I just had to pick them up I don't know if they're gonna even sell but there's some um, wall hangings and they're uh, look like they're homemade they're cross stitch dinosaurs and like the frame comes off so like i had to stretch this one so i'm gonna have to shave that or i'm afraid to take it off and not get it right again but how oh, precious are these they're so cute so anyway that is my haul so for all of this including the stuff that i bought for myself i spent 110 dollars um I'm hoping that I can turn that into about four. I don't know. I really didn't add it up, but that's usually what I try to do is like quadruple my money. So we will see. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Let me know below in the comment section how you think I did. Give me a thumbs up if you like this and want to see more videos like this. And be sure to go check out some of my other videos that I have posted and uh, hit subscribe. What else? I need to check all those little boxes. I think that's it. Thanks so much. I'll see you all next time. Bye.